There is no doubt that adoption practices and our society in general have come a long way in the decades since, but we can never, ever allow ourselves to be complacent. At all times, we must ensure that the services which are meant to protect families fulfil that role as effectively and compassionately as possible. That is why this Government is so focused on delivering the conclusions of the Independent Care Review, the promise which emphasised the importance, where possible, of keeping families together. And more generally, we need to continue to build a society where women and girls are treated equally and where everyone's human rights are respected. That has always been a central mission of this government, and it is how we ensure that such injustices never happen again. The final way in which we can keep faith with those affected is more symbolic, but no less meaningful for that. It is something that has been campaigned for tirelessly over many years by many of the people seated in our gallery today. And it's a cause which I know has been championed by members across this chamber. As a government and a parliament, we can set the record straight. We can acknowledge the terrible wrongs that were done. And we can say with one voice that we are sorry. So today, as First Minister, on behalf of the Scottish Government, I say directly to the mothers who had their babies taken away from them, to the sons and the daughters who were separated from their parents, to the fathers who were denied their rights, and to the families who have lived with the legacy. For the decades of pain that you have suffered, I offer today a sincere, heartfelt and unreserved apology. We are sorry. No words can ever make up for what has happened to you, but I hope this apology will bring you some measure of solace. It is the very least that you deserve, and it is long overdue.